Glamorgan Heritage Coast, an area often overlooked by people who travel for the west coast of Wales, home to rocky, rugged coastline and golden beaches. The nature reserves and wooded areas are a sight to behold. Lighthouses and a very dark yet interesting history. The Glamorgan Heritage Coast frequently escapes the tourist spotlight. Join me as I explore a small area of this often overlooked region. Monk Nash Beach and Nash Point with its lighthouse and make my way along this small cliffside walk to the Nash Point Lighthouse. So with a distance of just short of 65 miles and an estimated arrival time roughly an hour and a half, I managed to set off and there's many different ways that you can go once you come off of the M4, but the main journey is along the M4. Nice clear route. Unfortunately, I did actually get stuck in traffic on the way, but didn't take too long, took about an hour and 40 in the end, and I arrived at the Heritage Campsite. Okay, so just arrived in this lovely campsite by the looks of things down at Monk Nash. And we've got this new camper van that we're going to try out. And when I mean try out, what I mean is this is our camper van. And I need to learn how all the things work in it, what's going well in here and what I might actually have to change. There's a side awning that I'm going to try out as well over the next day. I'm only staying here for the one night, but I've got today and then tomorrow morning to do all of that. A beautiful beach is located here as well, which I will be trying out and looking forward to visiting. Apparently it's got some lovely cliffs there, so that should be really nice as well. But in the meantime, um, yeah, I'm starving and I need to eat one of my soups and shakes that I'm on in terms of this special diet at the moment. So I think a nice coffee and a shake is in order. Let's do that. We're gonna walk down to the sea now and take a look at the cliffs, take a look at everything that's around and try and enjoy ourselves here. And if I turn it around, you'll see that should, apparently we've got to go through a field and that should take us to where we're trying to head. I missed the path on the way into here, thought I was recording and I wasn't. There's actually a silver fence just behind me. So as you walk down the road, it's on the right hand side, the silver fence. So I very nearly missed it. But as some campers pointed out to me, I'm heading for those trees. And then I get to walk through a path that leads right the way through. Well, this is a nature reserve and I am not going to try for one moment to... <laughs> I'm not going to try. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Blaney Quim? Is it? Is it Blaney Quim? I don't know what that's called. You tell me what that's called. Tell me, tell me. Blaney Quim Nature Reserve, I believe. And we're gonna go. Let's get over there and see what happens. Things about coming away is you just don't know what you're gonna find. I mean, our country is absolutely loaded with fantastic things. And, you know, Ken's creations 
I want to create experience, I want to create an enjoyable time, photographs, aerial shots, videography and of course art. I want to sketch, paint, draw. So that's what I'm doing here and hopefully I'll enjoy that. So apparently, and right now, I'm walking alongside an old building which looks phenomenal. Um, so I will take a look at all of that in a moment. Well, I think there's a, a chap there that's well enjoying himself, but I don't quite understand what he's doing. But he does seem harmless and quite friendly. So this is the building and it is absolutely gorgeous. There you go. Bye bye. And it's uh, an old rundown mill right by a set of, well, just beautiful running water that's coming down the hill there. Absolutely gorgeous. And as I said, I really don't know what, what quite is going on there. But anyway, as long as he's enjoying himself and he feels like he's being productive, then all the power to him. We all have to find happiness in some ways, don't we? And I think he's finding his. When the trees end, the path follows the stream down onto the beach. And when the sea is out, it is a beautiful place, beautiful beach with a massively dramatic cliff backdrop. So let's get into these cliffs, or rather the erosion of the cliffs in recent years. In 2022, some bones were found after an erosion took place on the cliffside. Um, exposing some potential graves that have been left there from over the years. Looking at the west side of the cliff you can see potentially bones poking out. And this is from those graves. I put a link to this website in the description and essentially it talks of the graveyards from a connection with a church from olden times in the 15 and 1600 AD but also um, from shipwrecks and that type of thing and the dead bodies that are wash washed up to shore and were found from there. Also it talks on the website about um, Monknash as a local village and the fact that you can go to the historic Plough and Harrow pub and hear some ghostly tales about the bodies that are found on the tops of the cliffs. I have to say, from such a beautiful position as this, certainly from this walk and this recce, I can see that I just have to come down here, probably more so when the tide's in, and have the experience of it, either slowly going out, or slowly coming into its peak and I can see it comes in a long long way so we'll have a look at the coastal tides and we'll see what sort of time it does come in we also want to plan to come down here tomorrow morning and I will pop the drone up in the air and see what fantastic aerial shots we can get for the very first thing in the morning from here yeah amazing That's the old mill house. Get a better look of it this morning because I can come down here. The old chap's not here now. And there's the river running down beside it with lots and lots of these little drop pond areas. Really beautiful. If you're into the history of mills and such like, this is an old corn mill. It's only got the one gable wall left which stands at full height and the rest is brought down to ground level. The link shows a little bit more information and I'll also pop that link down in the description for you. Wow, 
I think that'll do. I'm going to try now and take a walk up this bank, um, just on top of this cliff. I think there's a pathway that leads towards a lighthouse, and I don't know how far how far that's going to be. So we'll give that a we'll give that a go, and we'll find out if we can get close to it, or at least get on top of the cliff and get a photograph of that. I really don't know though um, how far it is, so we'll find that out. What a beautiful place. It's such a rugged sea, isn't it? I'm probably about 10 yards from there just being over me. So it's really not far at all. It's so beautiful here. I might have said that once or twice already. Probably stop saying that now, eh? How about that though? I don't think I'll get any closer to that edge. We'll walk up to the top. From the cliff top, it's about a, should we say 20 to 30 minutes maximum if you're walking extremely slowly to get to the actual lighthouse. I personally decided to stop at the point where I could see the lighthouse because I wanted to get back to the campsite. So I cracked on and drove to the lighthouse to do more a little bit later. I didn't talk at all during this part, so I've stuck some music on so that you can enjoy the scenery. I didn't want to miss it out of the video because it's just so beautiful. So this is the Heritage Coast campsite and you can see as you come down the bar and cafe are open for people and there's the sign and it's a right turn in as you come in from the road so you look for this turning on the right and then you have what I would say is well this is a site that's only for camping and small camper vans so you have an entrance but it's no problem for Citroen relays, Peugeot boxes. You can get a sprinter in here but a little bit of a tighter turn and that's about your lot really. Um, there is no EHU here which are the uh, you know your emptying points for your for your grey waste. All the facilities are right up here at the top. There is a bar which does serve food, but apparently not all the time, depending on how busy the site is, that is. And there are gents, I won't take you in there because, well, there's people in there. But yeah, there's gents and showers. The showers, however, do cost 50p 
the stay at the site is £30 a night and £10 for electric. And what else is there to tell you? There actually isn't a lot to tell you about this site, to be honest. It's very, very small. It looks directly behind me at the coast. There's a 15 minute walk to the coastline through a wood or, well no, through a wood. That is how you get there. And there's an old broken mill when you get there. And yeah, there is a bar right there behind me. There's also a lighthouse, which you will see much more of during this video because I'm about to leave this camp. And when I get to the lighthouse, I'm going to spend a little bit of time there. Yeah, let's go take a look. If you are enjoying this video, please ding the bell, hit the like, and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content, because that really is the best way that you can support the channel. And I do appreciate you extremely so much if you do support the channel. So thank you very much if you have done that. And uh, yeah, anyway, so the picture itself was based upon the lighthouse there and just really the lighthouse and a couple of the buildings at the very base of it um, and this is the you know there's my shade i did this just with a, a b pencil i haven't brought a lot out with me um, so this was the uh, outcome and uh, if i put that there hopefully i'll be able to there we go so yeah that's the outcome of this I think it's a nice little memory um, to look at when I remind myself in the future and whether or not I'll do another piece of art, excuse me, whether or not I do another piece of art at home based upon this in the future, I don't know, but a lot of the time I'll be looking back at these trips out and then trying to create watercolour paintings and potential sketches and that type of thing or more finished drawings in the future so yeah hopefully that was something that you enjoyed getting a chance to see and uh, yeah it's certainly something that I enjoyed making so today has been really nice actually I enjoyed the walk this morning going over the cliff tops um, towards this lighthouse. I stopped just before it. It was uh, getting kind of close to me having to leave the campsite. I needed to get back for... Well, I wanted to get back for before 11 because I had to leave at 12 and I wanted to do a quick overview of the camp site itself. I can't really put it up against another campsite. I've not really been to many campsites yet, but I am going to be reviewing them as such as I go through and at least giving you guys an idea of what you might think of them, um, what I think of them. The only thing that I would say about that campsite that was potentially a bit negative was I genuinely could not empty any grey waste, which that's a bit rubbish, and no toilets, uh, no toilet, no toilet waste. I wanted to try the website. Why do I say website? I wanted to try the campsite as much as I could in terms of not using their facilities, because that way I could see whether or not it would be a problem for me to go overnight with just the leisure battery that I've got. 
Ellie. And uh, that seems to be no problem. Maybe the battery could do with being a little bit more powerful, but we'll see as we go along. If we don't need to change it, we won't. The battery in there is not too expensive, so I'm not worried about that. Um, what a fantastic lighthouse this is. We just these light. I've got a thing about lighthouses. I have to say, don't know why. Perhaps last year when we went to Anglesey, and I did the video there about around Softax and Penman Point, and I thought those two lighthouses were outstanding. Penman Point, possibly, yeah, the nicest, just because it was less commercialised and, you know, just. I suppose I was caught there on a beautiful day and this particular one which uh, yep the name of which I'll pop up there somewhere um, may even talk about it may have already talked about it but yeah it's it's possible to stay in these um, apparently I don't know about the actual lighthouse itself, but there's buildings just ahead of me. And I believe that, uh, well there is, there's a holiday listing of which I'll pop on the screen. And I would like to find out um, how you can stay on this campsite here because that campsite looks absolutely tremendous and I would definitely want to just come here for a weekend to relax and be around this coastline. So at that point with a low battery I decided to call it a day and I will be putting the photographs and any art that I've done at the end of each video. So without further ado, here we go with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button, hit the bell. That's basically the best way that you can support the channel and I do really appreciate every single subscriber and like that I get. Hit comment and let me know what you thought of the channel, what you thought of the video and if I can improve it in any way or what I might be able to do that you would enjoy in the future in terms of where I might want to visit. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.